Okay, already I have written a sample program to how to create a class in C++ and uh, how to define object for the class and here it comes no name dot cpp yeah. okay. so i wrote a class called try first i brief the program entire program and then we go to line by line okay so i write a program by using a uh, class to read two values and add two values and display it simply okay so to accomplish this i need two functions one function is to get data and another function to display the result and to add two numbers we already know that we need a b and c two input variables a and b and one output variable c so these are the outcome sorry uh, the outlay of the program we are going to write so whenever you are about to write a program you must you must know what what are the functions you must write you must uh, already plan it then only you can write uh, it, it, it is not like writing a song from the line number one to uh, the last word so you must analyze it and uh, you just you can create a blueprint of uh, the program which you are going to write initially then you start writing the program and this is the way how to approach any any program whatever it, it, the program might be the addition of two numbers as in the example now we are going to see or it can be any real-time program the proper analysis is must okay let's go into it and all the input and output of the C++ program is in streams a stream is a physical abstraction of the device from which the input is fetched from or into the device to which we are going to display the output so here uh, we are going to use both input and output streams so since we are including io stream and io manip that we will be discussing it later and coinio.h conio.h uh, actually this is the console input output we are going to use get ch somewhere in the uh, main function and this compiler is turbo c++ compiler in in uh, some other compilers i am not sure about including coinio.h because i am not uh, uh, you cannot sure uh, ensure a, because some compilers will uh, accept it some compilers will raise an error so in this turbo compiler it accepts it so we are using it and i start with writing a class this is how you must write a class class is the keyword and a space which is followed by the class name here I use try try is my class name and the open bracket and the first line is private this is the access specifier who are all going to use the, the following variables or functions by default all the variables are private in a class if you wanted to access if you wanted to call or access the variables or functions outside the class you must put it un uh, under public that is why I put all the functions under public because I want to call the functions so that only I can uh, manipulate the data a b and c by default if you put a b c also under public uh, there is no purpose of writing a class you can you can write straight away into the main function itself so mm -hmm. the one of the primary thing primary concern of C++ is the security it provides to the variables so you it is a good practice that you must write all the variables under private so that no other functions or uh, any other values uh, can access the variables a b and c outside the class try so these values variables a b c cannot visible outside the class try okay then we are proceeding to the public and there are two functions void get data and void display and i am not going to dis, uh, define inside the class you can see it there should not be any definition inside the class okay then it is followed by the close parenthesis and there comes the trick try one semicolon this try one is 
the object this is the first way of creating an object to a class okay now uh, up to this we have one class called a try and there is an object try one to the class try and there are two more functions inside the class and three variables inside the class and those three variables are private which means it is not accessible to anywhere else okay then we are going to main function so as in C C++ also the execution always starts from the main function so the main function starts here and see the first line try space try to which means it is similarly like int a comma b comma c and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, defining another object try to so uh, try to is the new object I am creating to the same class try so if you wanted to create an object uh, inside a main function or anywhere else I have to create like this only I have to give the class name to which I am going to create an object and then the object name here the class name is here is only one class try so the class name is try space the object name is try to now now we are going to access the function inside the class how we are going to access you see I am using the object first object try one dot get data dot is an operator that is used to access the class members by using the day, uh, appropriate object uh, here uh, my class try has two objects try one and try two first I am using the first object try one to get data and try actually there is an error here uh, try one dot display which means I am using the first object to get data and display it and I am using the second object try to to get data and I am using and I am displaying it so why I am using this four lines is I want to exhibit one object try one and another object try to has two different memory locations and they can save their own values independent of each other even though they have a b c look at the structure of tree one try one and try two what is the structure of try one the structure of try one is it has three values the so what is the class what is the structure of the class that is the structure of the object so what is the structure of try one the structure of try what is the structure of try try has three integers and two functions so that is the size of the object so here you can you can see try to also the object of here you see the try to is also the object of uh, try the same class try so try one and try to has similar structure both has a b and c and can access to the same functions get data and display but they are not same so this is what we are going to see here see uh, that oh, by using the first object try one we are get data and display it and second function did get data and display it and get c gets we are ending it and now there is an another important one you see here I'm going to define the function what is the get data is going to do I'm calling it with if I call the function what is the get data is going to do that is how that is what the definition of the function so see how I am defining it void get data then what is this try and what is the symbol see here void get data where the get data is residing just go to the top where the get data is residing get data get data is here you can see get data is residing under the class try so if I wanted to display if I want to define uh, get data I must write syntax like this void is the return type of the function get data space the class in which the get data is residing in our example the class name is try so we are writing here as try but this is what uh, actually this is what this is the class name in which 
the get data function has been declared or, or into which it has been residing okay then what is this then what is the symbol you see what is the symbol this symbol is called scope resolution operator so two column uh, columns uh, which means whatever there is inside a class it is not visible outside the class this is the first thing we have been already known so get data is also a function that is residing inside the class tray if i wanted to define it i must access it so which is not possible so i am extending the scope of the variables inside the class if i wanted to extend a scope of a variable or a function from inside the class to outside the class i must use the scope resolution operator before the identifier name before the function name or the variable name so this is how you must access it okay this void try is the class name into which the get data has been residing and the scope resolution operator and there comes get data as a function name and i am using there is a c out which is used to display this is how you must use c out this is an extraction operator and uh, enter the value of a the first line should be printed on the screen is enter the value of a that is inside the double quotation that will be displayed straightly onto the screen okay which is followed by end l means end line after displaying this you must uh, uh, stop you must put an end to it and by, by pressing an enter this, this is almost like pressing an enter by if i use end l the next line is uh, is prompted so after displaying the enter the value of a the cursor goes to the next line and wait for the value a if i if i uh, uh, using my keyboard if i give 79 it waits for 79 and it fetches as a okay then uh, enter the value of b has been printed and goes to the next line okay and goes to the next line and waited for b okay there comes uh, here ends the get data function ends then similarly we are uh, defining <coughs> the display function and initially a uh, and b has been added and is stored in c and the value of c is c which has been displayed so it is put under the double quotation and c out and this line is very important line the control getting transferred to me uh, this is the line you must have uh, you must have uh, you must have traced where the control has been coming and going after calling one particular function the control has been traveled back to main so this is what you must have understand it that is why we are uh, including <coughs> this line okay let's see by uh, compiling what will happen by compiling there is no error and we are going to run it and we are running it there's no error see enter the value of a and end l so it comes to the next line and waiting for the uh, value i am giving four so you must know the first uh, the function is first called by try one first object this value of a a equal to four is the first value the first object's value and i am giving enter the value of b and i am giving five so the value of c is nine okay the value of c is nine so and the control is getting transferred to main so it is getting transferred to main and the next line is try two dot get data so this value of a is to this value of a is to what for try two for the second object so let's give 99 and one okay the value of c must be 100 but it is nine so there is an error in it what is an error just get back to it and see it what is the error why it is not getting displayed because here you must display try to dot c okay so try to dot display now i'm compiling it and i'm running it on a, on a, on a quick fashion you see the same number i'm giving four and five so the value of c is nine 
so the try once c value is 9 and i'm giving 99 and i'm giving 1 the value of c is 100 so the value of c is 9 for a try 1 and the value of the same attribute c is 100 for try 2 this is what i just wanted to convey you every individual object has different memory location even though we have only uh, declared a b and c once but they have several instances they have several copies to every object so every object has its own memory location has its own a own b and own c so this independent of each other okay which is not possible in c so